So I go back to the South not in despair. I go back to the South not with a feeling that we are caught in a dark dungeon that will never lead to a way out. I go back believing that the new day is coming. And so this afternoon I have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day, right down in Georgia and Mississippi and Alabama, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to live together as brothers. I have a dream this afternoon that one day, one day little white children and little Negro children will be able to join hands as brothers and sisters. I have a dream this afternoon that one day, one day men will no longer burn down houses in the church of God simply because people want to be free. I have a dream this afternoon that there will be a day we will, not long, we will no longer face the atrocities that Emmett Till had to face or Medgar Evers had to face, but that all men can live with dignity. I have a dream this afternoon that my four little children, that my four little children will not come up in the same young days that I came up with in, but they will ju be judged on the basis of the content of their character, not the color of their skin. I have a dream this afternoon, that one day right here in Detroit, Negroes will be able to buy a house, or rent a house anywhere that their money will carry them, and they will be able to get a job. Yes, I have a dream this afternoon. One day in this land, the words of Amos will become real. Justice will roll down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. I have a dream this evening that one day we will recognize the words of Jefferson that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with some unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I have a dream this afternoon. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted. And every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain and the crooked places will be made straight and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it again. I have a dream this afternoon that the brotherhood of man will become a reality in this day. With this faith, I will go out and carve a tunnel of hope through the mountain of despair. With this faith, I will go out with you and transform dark yesterdays into bright tomorrows. With this faith, we will be able to achieve this new day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing with the Negroes in the spiritual 